Hello YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another tutorial series. My name is Joshua Tenkai right here. Today we're gonna discuss about data science. I'm gonna talk about the seven most important steps you need to understand when you want to study data science and all, all the roles you wanna perform when you're a data scientist, okay? So the, the first one is called the business problem. So for you to be a better data scientist, you need to understand the business problem in question. This is the best practice for any data scientist, okay? The second step you can understand is uh, data accusation. Data accusation entails collecting data from various sources. This may be raw data from the web servers, data logs, APIs, DBs, and online repositories. And why do we do that? We are actually collecting this data so that we can get the right data to export for manipulation. Okay. The third step we're going to talk about is data preparation. Data preparation entails preparing this data before doing any sort of manipulation. So it entails two steps here. One is data cleaning and another one is data transformation. When we talk about data cleaning, which is the most cumbersome method here, it's because we are trying to identify the inconsistent data types from our data. We're going to check on misspelled attributes from our data, and we're going to check all the missing or the duplicate values on our data. So after doing that, we do what we call data transformation, which is the second technique. Data uh, transformation can be done by various softwares like Informatica and this is actually trying to change their data from the format it is to uh, the uh, formats which can be understood by that those people are trying to analyze or the, 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 this data at the end of the day. After that we're gonna talk about the fourth step which is called expo, ex, exploration data analysis or expo, ex, yeah, exploration data analysis. This is the most crucial step in data science or in um, your data analytics uh, course because it actually uh, tries to do the definition of data and the definition of that data. And after that, you're going to select uh, the, the best features or the models from the data you've just uh, prepared. And then from there, we're going to choose on the variables that will be used uh, to do what we call modern deployment, okay? So in explore, exploration of data, this is the analysis which allows us define and refine this data so that we can be able to select the most important features which are going to give us the variables to use to choose our model of deployment, okay? The fifth step is called data modeling. Data modeling here, it uh, entails application of techniques like KNN, and Naive Base, and Decision Trees. These actually are used to um, uh, best uh, to, to, I used to basically give us the best suites for the business requirements. So you'll realize that after doing the modeling, you're going to basically have a lot of the, uh, results after doing your modeling. And now you're going to use the best practices to give you the best uh, result which is required for that business requirement, okay? And then after doing that, you're going to train that model on the training data sets and then do the tests which are required. And after that, you select the best performing models using various softwares like R and, uh, and SAS. So after doing this, you present this data to the next step, which is called data visualization and communication. This is where now you come up and meet the client one-on-one -on -one to present your business finding effectively using relevant tools like uh, Tableaux, uh, Power BI, uh, Qlink, uh, Views, and stuff like that. This is to help uh, create dashboards and graphs which are going to best um, uh, explain to this person you're meeting one on one, and then after that, after the, your, your data findings are being acceptable by your client, you're going to do the last step, which is called deployment and maintenance. Deployment here uh, entails uh, testing the selected models in a pre production environment and then fully deploying this uh, uh, model to the live uh, production environment. Why do we do this? You know, you have to test your models in a pre-production uh, environment to test for bugs and stuff like that. If you find bugs out there or something, you have to push it next 
for refined meat and stuff like that. After that one is uh, sorted, you have a final, a final product or a final model. You're gonna push it for a life production for it to be deployed and stuff like that. But don't make, forget that you need to monitor your projects using a series of uh, dashboards and uh, uh, graphs so that you can be able to maintain and see your project uh, or all, all along and stuff like that. So why do we use uh, the data science? Why are data scientists so important? Look at the medical uh, companies and logics, your logistic firms. They want to predict the, the available time they can do their delivery of drugs and stuff like that. Look at the, the product, the, the, the company like FedEx uh, company. It uses a lot of data science um, modeling so that they can be able to make their decisions. Look at the airline companies. The airline companies are using data scientists to basically predict uh, the, the the delay of flights and stuff like that. And then look at the an organization, employee uh, attrition and stuff. And then lastly on genetics. Uh, we use data science uh, so much in genetics in terms of uh, defining the DNA and stuff. The roles of data scientists. Once you have your data science uh, career or course and skills, you can be able to work in various roles as a data analyst, as a machine learning engineer, as a deep learning engineer, as a data engineer, or as a data scientist. So that's guys uh, what I had to, to tell you today. I want to tell you to uh, subscribe to my channel to get more of this beautiful content from the tech guy here. And then after that, I can see you in the next one. Thank you. Keep safe.